China's Belt and Road Initiative will contribute to the economic growth of Central Asian countries. Experts opined that all of the countries will be able to attract Chinese investments in new infrastructure projects. Central Asian countries are interested in developing their logistics as well as transit transport sector as part of the initiative program. The projects include the Western Europe Western China Highway, the North South Railway Project, the Trans Asian Railway Corridor, and the Chongqing Duisburg Line. By now, already about 130 countries have signed some kind of Belt and Road uh, Agreement with China. Uh, that's basically most of the countries of Eurasia and Africa. Uh, that constitutes about 60% uh, uh, of world population. Uh, I think basically uh, at this phase, Belt and Road Project is for the developing countries because they really need basic infrastructure. So I think that the, the first uh, winners might be the developing countries, and then maybe the developed countries will have some advantages too.